the problem is the street is lined with these crab apple trees that you see behind me. The residents here say they're beautiful when they blossom in the springtime, but they can also be a haven for this type of caterpillar. They are called forest uh, caterpillars, um, tent caterpillars, and they, for some reason, have taken this city or this street by storm. They're all over the place. Perla Cadiante says caterpillars have taken over her Scarborough neighborhood. It, it is an infestation and we would like some help. She says they find them crawling on the street, their houses, cars, and even on their bodies. I can just, yeah. <laughs> Syed Arif has lived here since 1983 and says this is a first. We haven't seen them before. Like last year, there wasn't anything like this. This is the first year. We've been on this street for a long time. Carianti says she's worried they'll find their way into their homes. I am distressed because they're, they look terrible and I don't want them inside my um, ductwork and electrical wirings in the garage. Carianti looked online for information and came across a similar problem CBC Regina reported on. The city took care of the problem for its residents. Now, if the city of Regina can help their residents with this problem, I don't see why the city of Toronto uh, cannot come and... Uh, help us deal with it. Two, three. We called the city for Cariante, but we're told there's nothing they can do. It's too late in the season because uh, larva finish development in the nest. Alex Bykov is a forest health care inspector for Toronto. He says the city would have been able to help two weeks ago before the larva hatched. He says they did deal with this problem in a number of other neighborhoods. We're still going around and pruning out nests or burning them with a torch. He says destroying the nests now would be a waste of time. Most of the caterpillars have already left them. Now residents in this neighborhood are just going to have to wait for this problem to solve itself. The good news is that in one week from now, they will disappear completely regardless of reaction. Bykov says those caterpillars in about a week from now will start making their transformation into moths. Now, there is another solution. Bykov says the city will come out and remove crabapple trees like this one and replace them with another type of tree. There is a cost to that, but Bykov says it is a permanent solution.